In a world where you need audio heroes, two nerds will come together to fight for nerd kind. It's time for nerds to step up and unite. It's time for a Crisis on Infinite Podcast. I am so excited. About that freaking movie now. The Power Rangers? Yes. The new trailer looks very good. I am all in. It, I, I'm all new, in, buddy. So the first trailer came out three-ish months ago, yeah, we like, could say. October, maybe? Mm-hmm. I feel like it was October. And uh, now it came out with a new trailer as of this podcast. Yeah, this morning, and actually. It's a lot more than you. It's a lot more than we thought it would be, which we, is great. It's more than meets the eye, if you want to borrow from another franchise. That's <laughs> okay. It's it's morphin' time. Exactly. It totally <laughs> is. And I'm, man... <laughs> Like, okay, like Power Rangers is pretty much like my childhood. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, I think maybe six or seven when they when they first debuted. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, it's not the old makeup of the world, but I don't care. It looks, still looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Cranston face like a- Oh, yeah, Brian Cranston as Zor- Zordon? Yeah, man. I was like, all right. Even Alpha 5 didn't, didn't look- I mean, look bad. He's Bill male. Hader's voice was interesting because it was, it, well, no, technically on the TV show, Alpha 5 was a guy, was a guy in a, a female voice. Sort of. Who knows, actually, because... Because Alpha it, 5 sounded like a girl. A I think Alpha 5 was just... They just dubbed over whoever was in the suit in Japan. Uh-huh. So, I mean, it wasn't, uh-huh. you know. But it looks it looks like a little... Instead of being, like, old robot technology from, you know... It's like alien stuff. Exactly. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready. And I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to Are see... Are you ready to go-go? Power I am. Rangers. Even oh, the Zord fight, like they were, it was like jet fighting. It was like that was I was so kind of cool. skeptical about the Zord. I, was, I thought, you know, they need to keep a little traditional with the Zords. Well, I wait. I I withhold judgment. I like, want a dang guy in a suit <laughs> fighting another guy in a monster suit. <laughs> what if Brian Cranston provides the voice for the monster? Ooh, he does totally. two things. I think they're fighting Goldar though, so I don't think it's gonna be Brian Cranston. What's Goldar? Remember Goldar, the big monkey looking guy that was all gold. Is it with the, the wings? The wolf guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but I, I think I'm gonna withhold judgment on the Zord until I see how they actually, actually bring them together. If the mm. scene where they bring them together is awesome, I don't care what it looks like. Okay, you know? Yeah, I, I trust you. If they yeah. do, and they need to do, do the whole sign of thing. Rangers, log on. Zach here, standing by. See, when, you know? <laughs> see, when you go see these types of movies, and this is any nerdy movie, any yeah. geeky movie, yeah. you, you need to have one guy, one person in your party going to see the movie, know a little bit more than you do about the movie. Yeah. I'll, I'll, That's I'll, both of us in this situation, yeah. but in the Power Rangers sense, it's Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> but also, oh, also, man, yeah, I forgot. That's Kevin. I'm, oh, yeah, that's Hoodie. <laughs> and you're listening to the 13th episode of Ooh. Crisis, Crisis on, on Infinite Podcast. We completely, I we, told, your Power Rangers rant got I'm excited. Ooh, we but went a whole think, five minutes without that. I also think, too, like if you look at Power Rangers, it was basically a series to sell toys. It wasn't a series to be made that had like a chronological mm-hmm. order of story and ending and over arc. No, it was just a half hour episode. The teens went to the juice bar and a monster attack Angel Grove. They got in there with robots and they fought them. So, was, do you think that's going to happen in the movie? They, they just go to the juice bar forever? I just, I just think uh, you need to, who is going to be Bulk and Skull in this movie? That's who I really want to know. I about. do want to know that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you need to go into this movie with, 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 with a clear head. Just, mm-hmm. just accept what happens. Don't look for what you saw. 23 years, 25 mm-hmm. years ago on, on Fox after school. Just look to see what it is. Just go, go with open mind. Open mind. You can't go thinking what you're going to see is what you're going to see 20, 20 years ago, you know? That's and what the, and the interesting thing is, if you didn't know back in the day, then I guess the Power Rangers came out in the 90s. You could it's say like 95, 96. 95 ish. That the American version of Power Rangers really all they did was change the voices and when they were in human yeah. scenes. <laughs> like Everything much. else was the Japanese Japanese, Japanese shot footage. for shot. When they were in the suits, it was the Japanese. That's why the Yellow Ranger didn't have a skirt on. And that's because in Japan the Yellow Ranger was a, was a guy, it wasn't oh, a woman. Oh yeah. wow! Oh. Yeah, I know too much about Power Rangers. I know. That's very very same way in, in the Japanese version, the Green Ranger and the Red Ranger were actually brothers. That's why they were fighting so much. Ooh, I'd like that. Yeah. Can that happen? <laughs> um, and then the Zords, those are actually people in the costumes yeah. fighting on a set instead of like miniature versions, like yeah. mini sets, kind yeah, of exa- like how the Death Star was filmed. Exactly, yeah. And <laughs> so they would have people in these like cardboard cutout costumes. Imagine your your brother trying to be Optimus Prime 
<laughs> that's sort of what it was like with cardboard boxes, and it doesn't really work, but it, it looked great for the 90s. It's funny, because if, if you look at the Megazord, when he transformed, at one point, he had these huge hands, and then again, <laughs> look again, there's like these little rubber hands. Like, how, how, why oh, does his hands shrink? His hands, wow. <laughs> Robot technology, am I right? Exactly. <laughs> Technically, in the 90s, isn't Zordon like a wizard? He's some kind of, like, I feel like he's some kind of... Uh, Horrible creature of of existence because he's dead, but he can't pass on. Yeah. He's in his little tube. He's in purgatory. <laughs> exactly. Power Rangers is, is <laughs> essentially about just Zordon's purgatory, exactly. where he's a computer screen. Um, but that comes out in March, end of March. Yeah, March twenty seventh, I think. And interestingly enough, another movie that comes out oh, in yes. March, Logan, aka Wolverine three. Yeah, is a good. Co- oh, is it Wolverine three? It's the third movie yeah. because it was, actually, it was the first one with um Wyclef, not Wyclef, uh, Wyclef. the guy from Black Eyed Peas. What's Will I am. Will I am. Yeah. So Wolverine Origin, X Men Origins, yeah. Wolverine, and X Two, the Wolverine, the something Wolverine, like that. and now this one. So it's yes. the third one. Okay, so it's his third solo Wolverine movie. Yeah. And it's called Logan. And it's gonna be rated R, which is great because Deadpool last year kind of paved the way for more rated R, yeah. grittier comic book movies, at least for Fox. Yeah, not for Disney. Disney's not uh, doing that. Yeah. And see, the thing is, you might be thinking, well, Wolverine's a Marvel character. Deadpool's a Marvel character. And Marvel is essentially every character, Spider-Man, Iron Man, every superhero movie you've seen in the past five years that's been successful has been a Marvel movie for hey, the most part. Watch it. It's true, though. Suicide, Suicide Squad. And they were just well, all right, in- we'll get to that. And then, <laughs> so Iron Man, Captain America, the yeah. Avengers are in that. And the funny thing is, most of that's owned by the Marvel Marvel films, I guess you could call it. Yeah. But then- Owned by Disney now. Yeah. The X Men franchise and Fantastic Four franchise are actually owned by Fox. Yeah. So whenever you go see those movies, you see the Marvel, like the Marvel ten second like, like it's it, Marvel. It's on a Marvel comic, but, but it's Marvel but not, comics not Marvel instead films. of Marvel films. Yeah. So they're two different things. Same way Sony owns all the rights to Spider Man. A lot of his characters. Sort of used to. We're it's, not sure yet. It's kind of fifty fifty. Spider Man's kind of interesting. Yeah. But um, that's why there you don't really see. Uh, Hugh Jackman ever in any of the Avengers because I, I think that'd be a great addition. They, they can't don't need now the rest like, of the X Men, but they got Doctor Strange now. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, but <laughs> so that's that's how they're sort of different. But in Fox and the Fox X Men movies are for us. I guess the franchise or series is yeah. going more towards the rated R. Yeah, which is, I mean, Deadpool's nominated for was nominated for Golden Globe. Yep, could get an Oscar nomination maybe. I'll believe when I see it. I I hope. I, those old farts are make, make us happy. Those Come old on. farts are not nominated in any comic movie. And the Logan Oscars. is now going rated R, and it looks good. The first trailer it had uh, Hurt. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is Hurt. Yeah. And this one, it's all about the little girl in the trailer. Yes. Which and is very surprising. It's, it's very good. I'm, I am I want to go see it. Do you want to reveal who she is? Or? No, let's not reveal it. Okay. Go, go watch it. Go watch it. Yeah. And then it's just a certain X and then a number. <laughs> LeBron James and Michael, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan have, yeah, and technically Kobe. Had, no, Kobe has no. 20, he was twenty four. Twenty four. Yes, because he wanted to be different than. Yeah. that's what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, we get a little bit of sports knowledge exactly. on this. Ooh, uh, Crash of sports. Crash of uh, sports. <laughs> it's like gu- guts. <laughs> guts. I want to be. I want to be on that show. I so want to be on the Agrocrat. I want to. I would have won, dang it. So Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, who is one of our, he's I guess the, he's head the digital, digital guy, guy yeah. in the building. He has a piece of the Agrocrag on his desk. It's getting stolen. I'm so tempted it's to steal stolen. it every time. It's going to be in our studio. Guts soon. was an essential '90s. Oh, do you remember the all right, so Nickelodeon back in the day? We kind of went on a tangent, but that's okay. Ping pong, Nickelodeon, <laughs> ping pong podcast, triple P. Uh, Nickelodeon back in the day had its own game show network called. Gas, I Gas, think, Game, game and Sports, and, sports. Yep. and it had Guts, Double Dare, uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. That was the show. Oh, it was, it was a, it was a, I think it was called Starcade or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, Nick, Nick Arcade. Nick Arcade, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, like, my uh, other show, on Wild and Crazy Kids was kind of more, more outside mm-hmm. type of Guts, kind of. Figure It Out was on there, too. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Ooh, good day. What Would You Do? That was mm-hmm. another one. They had, like, they had a lot of game shows, man. And so he, he gets his night like these old old school '90s Nickelodeon like loot boxes almost. Yeah, and uh, he got a piece of agro crack. I just want it so bad. Let's bring that show back for like a limited run, mm-hmm. like do like a, like a tournament. Mm-hmm. Just have like Monday through Friday, and then Saturday you have whoever wins goes back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's make it in the office. Let's make a guts. Let's make a double dare course in the office. We should we should do that with office supplies. Jerry will support us. He you loves know, guts. You know we, we have the, we have the Southwest downstage downstairs. Well, let's do that. We can totally do that. It's That's like it's like we're subtly air checking these things. <laughs> we reference so many things. That's okay. We're just joking. Um, but back to Logan. 
It looks great. I want to go see it. March 3rd, it comes out. Yeah. And it's it's funny because we kind of realized that they're, both of the teaser trailers for Power Rangers and Logan sort of came out at the same time. Exactly. And both of their new trailers are coming out at the, the same, same time. day. I think they come Logan, out in the same month. I thought Logan would come out during the Super Bowl. I was mm-hmm. kind of counting on that. Well, I, I didn't know it was coming out March 3rd, so I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anything really... The next movie I want to see really because it's coming out is on February 10th, um, Lego Batman. That's probably the next yeah, thing I'll see yes. in the theaters. But other than that, there's nothing really, mm-hmm. nothing really itching me to get in the theater right now, you know? But speaking of March 3rd and kind of switching topics a little bit here. That's fine. Yes, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Let's talk about Nintendo Switch, which comes out now officially on March 3rd. Switch? Switch. 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 <laughs> I can't work the, the sound button bar. Switch. There, go. there we go. <laughs> And Nintendo Switch. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> but Nintendo Switch comes out March 3rd. I pre-ordered it. Congratulations. I stayed up for forever. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm ex- March 3rd. I got Breath of the Wild with it. So if you get a Nintendo Switch, get it. It's going to be your first chance to actually play games on airplane and with your friends. That's going to be cool. Technically, it comes with two controllers, so... I'm not getting any systems anytime soon because of the little one. But. You have a child, so you can't really pay for those things. Your expendable income goes towards your child. I can pay Mine for it. It's not responsible. goes towards video games. Yeah. Like last night, I was in Toys R Us and saw a replica WWE heavyweight title for $150. I'm like, I have the money for it. Why can't I just buy it? Why can't I just do it, Kevin? Just the do it. Diaper money. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I got to buy them on the way home. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot about that. I do. He has like three left. But Nintendo <laughs> Switch comes out March 3rd. It's supposed to have oh, three to six hours of battery life. That's right. good. That's pretty good. That's, That's pretty a DS good. level almost. That's a phone with you on Facebook all, all Apparently, time. it's not supposed to have Netflix on it at launch. I'm kind of upset about that. They don't have Netflix. So I wanted to have patient. Netflix because it's perfect. I don't need... My phone can be my phone now, not my streaming device. Yeah, my phone's on my streaming device. It has like 20 streaming devices now. <laughs> just, just put it all on Netflix, everybody. Come on. Just yeah. Get on the same page. Netflix will be home for games, movies, and the mm-hmm. news. No, no oh, that's Redbox. I used to think Redbox and Netflix were the same, actually. I did, too, actually. But then I was like, oh. They should do, they should Netflix game. That'd be so easy. Netflix games. Mm-hmm. Why don't they do that? Uh, It'd be like Gamefly, but just, like, you, go to, you go from you know, some shows to kids to games, and you just play a game on uh, Netflix. Netflix, come on, get at us. Yeah. We're waiting for you. That's trademark, by the way. You got to buy that from me. Netflix for games. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm excited for that. Uh, Skyrim comes out for that eventually. And uh, I've never played Skyrim, so that's My nephew be is a Skyrim king. And if you need any help with it, I'll give you his phone number, and he'll gladly help you out. Mm, he has a Fusro Da something, apparently. He has that shirt. He has the Fusro Da ringtone. He has the Skyrim the Skyrim like theme as his like call ringtone. Mm-hmm. He has a Skyrim uh, case for his phone. Like he's Skyrimed out. Yeah. Yeah, that's his thing. <laughs> well, switching things back ah, to I anything besides the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> that was great. I did it again. So I probably won't use that button bar again unless we say this word. You're good at your job, buddy. I try. You know, I dabble. <laughs> that took a little. That took like 20 minutes to do. <laughs> um, Injustice Two. Yeah. Uh, trailer comes out. Injustice Two. Injustice is a. Uh, Sort of like a fighting franchise like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, but it's only with DC Comics superheroes, yeah. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, all that good stuff. And it, uh, its first game, Injustice, uh, came out what is it, two years ago. More than two. I think I was living at home with my dad when that came yeah, out. Or three years yeah, three ago. Or four, Probably yeah. three-ish years ago. Oh, yeah, because they extended. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, um, they really they took everything they could They took that, that as much as they could. And the <laughs> yeah. mobile game was great for Oh, yeah. what the heck? They have an email. Ooh, I have an email. Ah, oh, see, oh, I don't know what that email is. That's okay though. <laughs> Sorry about that email, but anyway, um, Injustice Two comes out in May, and the trailer for that just came out this week. Yeah, it looks. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I think you you don't like it. Here's my thing. It's an awesome story. Let's think about it. Yeah, the story behind Injustice is the Joker tricks Superman. Into killing Lex, uh, killing Lois, mm. but then he finds out Lois was pregnant. So Superman shoves his hand through the Joker's chest, pretty much, Ooh. and takes over. And pretty much his band of superheroes kind of take over the world, pretty much. It's, it's Superman's band of superheroes against Batman's band of superheroes. So it's a really cool story. Uh-huh. But I want to play the story. I don't want to play a fighting game. That's my thing. Hmm. If it was just a fighting game, whatever, I'll play it. But that story is so good that I want to play it like Arkham Arkham Knight style. Cool. That's my that's my thing with it. Yeah, that's, that's all. 
But it's going to be a great yeah, game. So it's going to sell well. But it's just you know, not for me. With any fighting game, you have to memorize the buttons. And I stink at oh, memorizing yeah. the buttons. Forward, forward, left, X, up. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right. Then they left, right. So like the little diagonal thing in there. And it's all on an analog stick now, so it's harder. Yeah. But <laughs> the trailer looks good. Uh, Robin's supposed to be in it again, I guess. Or actual Robin. I'm yeah, not sure. and Brainiac. Actually. Brainiac is the villain. Yeah, that's apparently. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But the thing that I kind of have a problem with, and it's with a lot of games, and I've fallen privy to it, is that it has three different editions oh, of a game. Yeah, that is. Ugh. As a crisis pro tip, always never buy the most expensive edition because in the long run, it might not help you out. It won't. So it won't. the Injustice 2 has three versions. One is the normal edition, which is the game. Just yeah. the game. And then, the, then you could get a pre-order, which we'll talk about that eventually. Too. Yeah. And then the second version is a digital deluxe edition, which comes with... An alternate skin for Supergirl, where she becomes Power Girl, and then it comes with three DLC characters. That one's sixty nine ninety nine. Mm. And then here's the big one, the Ultra Edition, oh. which comes with two shaders. I don't know what shaders are for. <laughs> um, nine DLC characters, and then three exclusive character skins that make you reverse flash john stewart green lantern and power girl that's for 99 bucks i'm not spending 100 on the game i'm not uh, i will i will never understand the pre-order bonus Mm-mm. i will never understand the pre-order bonus on top of that if you pre-order the game you get dark side for free even though probably two weeks later, so even if you don't pre-order a game yeah you can probably get a dlc like two weeks later I'd do one better. I'd, the, it was a pre-order bonus for Arkham Knight. You, you pre-order Arkham Knight, you get like the Harley Quinn level for free. Uh, everyone got that. We got it for free yeah. because I bought the game and it was in there. Yeah, I Plus, didn't pre-order. It most <laughs> there's, so there's certain, so distinct between pre-orders. There's certain pre-orders like a GameStop pre-order, yeah. which they have little sheets and they only give it to you. But then there's a any any place you want to pre-order. Yeah, Tech Target Best like Buy, like the Harley Walmart. Quinn. If yeah. you pre-ordered, you would get it. That is just inside the game box. Yeah. Um, GameStop, you, you got pre-order there if you want that yeah. exclusive, which will come out eventually in two weeks. But with, say, say this Harley Quinn where it's in the box, you can buy the game maybe five months after, even a year exactly. after, and that code's still in there, and it's still good. I might expire, but... Because uh, I remember the thing used to be pre-order games, so you make sure you get your game and it doesn't sell out. That, mm-hmm. was, that used to be the thing. Mm-hmm. But then they started shipping, like, I remember when Halo 3 came out, I worked, at, I worked at Best Buy. They shipped us like a thousand copies of that game. There was no way we were going to sell out of that. <laughs> We're not selling a thousand copies of Halo Three in one day. So now it's just it's just, it's just cash grabs, man. I mean, and I, I'm not against DLC, but I, if it's something good and I want to play it, I want to download it. I'm going to buy it. I don't, I don't care. Also, but see, the thing is, is and I might be repeating story of supporting Amazon. Amazon has the two weeks thing where you can. It's cheaper, twelve bucks cheaper. Yeah, that's sort of the pre order bonus. With just Amazon, it's twelve bucks cheaper. Yeah. But also, you two weeks after. Wait, two weeks after that, it'll be forty eight bucks still. So, yeah, like why are you kidding that? I just, I just feel like this it's is cheaper. It's, it's just a different way. You probably get the pre order bonus. So. Exactly. And then also, I think it's another way because you know, going going to the store to buy stuff now was like vastly going out of style. Like uh-huh. uh, probably the next twenty years, I think it's just oh, a way. I, to, to I get bought to... most of my stuff on Amazon. My Switch exactly. is through Amazon. Exactly. So I think it's another way to keep people, keep people in stores and not keep them on the mm-hmm. internet because Amazon obviously is killing it. So why why even why even want to go to another store to buy a video game when it's on Amazon for cheaper? I just got to wait maybe a day longer to get it. Oh well. Yeah. yeah right. Or or pre order it and get it the day of anyway. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Similar to that. Um, but you know, if you if you're going to pre-order, just do it smart. And see, yeah. here's a here's an actual another good tip: pre-order hardware, never pre-order software. Yeah, exactly. So software, when referring to that, is a game. Yeah, a game. A game, and I guess technically a movie or something like that. But in this sense, for video games, a game. Yeah. Hardware is the actual console. So that's what say, that's hard to come by sometimes. Think about what ten years ago now, the Wii came out. And it was oh, sold out everywhere. Everywhere. And pre-orders were kind of a thing back then. Now they're super heavy. Yeah. And so I pre-ordered my Switch. My my pre-ordered oh, my no. Here we go. Say it again. Switch. <laughs> and what happened is the Switch. There we go. I, I got it. <laughs> went out of pre-orders. And so you can't buy it even if you're trying to buy it on the day it comes out. Yeah. So you have to wait two months after it. 
worth the game, they got thousands of games everywhere. So exactly. you don't have to pre order. You're not in a rush to get it unless you want the super special Especially edition. Especially nowadays, you can just download it. Mm-hmm. So what's the point of even. I don't know. I, 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 just, I just hate the pre order gouging, man. It makes, makes me sad. Like, pre- anyway, I, I pre order tomorrow, you can get the copyright. But that's, blah, 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 blah. that's us being a little, little, little disturbed and angered. Yeah. But DC, imagine. DC did it well with Injustice. So Injustice 2 is going to be great. It's going to be great. It's just not it's for gonna, me. It'll look pretty. Yeah. Um, a bad thing, though, a sort of a bad thing, is that DC now is charging extra for their comic books. Really? I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, so a monthly comic for DC will cost you around two ninety nine. dollars mm. um, So that's a comic that comes out once a month. Yeah. And then, say, issue two comes out this month. Issue three will come out next month. It'll be two ninety nine. dollars Now they're going to be charged to three ninety nine. dollars But with that, the extra dollar, you now, DC is including a code that you can redeem on Comixology to oh, get a free digital copy of the comic cool. book. That's cool. That's so that cool. way you have the digital and then the, the actual physical copy. Yeah. I think that's pretty smart because now, then certain certain comics are a little bit more expensive, so it kind of varies yeah. with that. Um, but that's kind of cool because now, if you think your comic book gets broken, it gets ruined, yeah. you have the digital version. Just how, so how do you feel about I personally just like it in the book form. Digital version, I don't like having it like it's a panel and then a panel and then a panel. Uh, so. it's, just, it's just stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Not all of us can can afford, you know, eight bedroom houses. We can have a room. Where I can put all my comic books. Exactly. At. So it's just nice to have everything there on your phone, your on app. your phone, my tablet, yeah, and, my and computer. So if I, you, yeah, sorry. You no, know I'm saying that's just where I am with it. You know, mm. I'd rather just download it, and then if I, if, I, if I don't need it anymore, I can just put it on my cloud, create space on my phone, and want them to read it again, just redownload it. Mm. You know, and you know, with um, most comic books have apps now. Like Comicsology, I think has. Both DC and Marvel, and yeah. Any other third parties like a Dark Horse, a Star Wars is owned by Marvel now. Yeah, um, I think they are. Right, sort yeah. of offbeat. You don't really know about it unless you go to like Barnes and Nobles. I think, they, I think they have Walking Dead on there too. I'm not entirely Walking sure. Walking Dead, yeah. yes, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, and so with Comicsology, you can buy it there and then just have it on your phone. And I think it's like cloud based. Yeah, so you it can is. Yeah. Watch iPad, phone, wherever you want to watch it. You can do subscriptions and stuff. Yeah, I mean, but, it's, it's uh, a cool deal. Uh, so how how would you, Kevin, and I think it's a good issue that, you know, we read comic books. I lent you my Red Sun Superman. Yeah, how would you feel about it? I'm, so, you, I, I'm not finished it yet, but I like it. Yeah. You know, why don't you read it to your daughter? Because then it's like it's bedtime story. Oh, Batman beat up this criminal. Oh, no. There's she some is, blood on the page. Yeah. My wife's not too keen on I, I, I already Reader. watched. It. You well, guys don't have bedtime stories. It's bedtime comics. Is that also like that's like I was watching South Park. She was in my lap. Mm-hmm. I watch always always something Philadelphia like all the time when she's in my lap. Like I'm, I'm already infecting her brain with, like, with bad, bad stuff. Yeah. So I need to stop. <laughs> I need to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> um, but so how would you um, get into an issue into a comic book series? Because a lot of times you see comics or you hear about them on yeah. a website like. Like IGN or Polygon, Kotaku, which are good gaming websites. Yeah. Actually, good entertainment websites. I love Kotaku. That's where I get a lot Kotaku's of my stuff great. from. Kotaku's so um, That, you know, they're like, oh, read Old Man Logan, which is Logan yeah. the movie's based on, or yeah. Avengers Infinity War, which is based on the yeah. Infinity War. Or even Civil War. Where, where do you usually get like your issues and stuff at? Well, I'm not, I'm not like, a, I, like a lot of people have been reading comic books for a long time, so they, they knew the story of Spider Man like in the 80s. That's not me. I, I learned Spider-Man and Batman, all these guys from cartoons. So I, what I like to do is like when I'm, when I'm reading, like say on Wikipedia about a certain Batman episode or a mm-hmm. certain old Spider-Man episode, it said references a comic book. Like, oh, so cool. people that comic book is, and mm-hmm. I go from, from that way. Like I, I, I kind of use what's going on, like like with a Flashpoint. Mm-hmm. When the Flashpoint movie came out, I think like two, three years ago. This is the I, Flash, by the yeah, way. Yeah, by the way, Flash. Not the NBC series or AB whatever series it was. Oh yeah, it was a Flash. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, when I heard about that, I watched, I watched the movie. You know. Oh, there's a comic book for it too. So now that, that, that I went back and read the comic book, so I almost, I almost use today's media to, to reference back to their the original source. Yeah. So you know? you know, as as you know, we watch Flash, Arrow, all that stuff. Yeah. A lot of the episodes reference a, a comic book, and that's what Kevin's saying. Yeah. Um, usually, most of them have Wikipedia's. Yeah. Or like, I, like I'll say, the Civil War storyline is so much better than the movie. Yeah. So it's so much better than the movie. So like you could to buy an issue number one, it's kind of hard to do because most of the time. Issues come out monthly or weekly, depending yeah. on how the comics run. Um, but probably your best bet to get into a comic series is to buy a graphic novel series. Mm-hmm. Graphic novel and comic book kind of go hand in hand. They're kind of different. It's just a bit. They, they, they omelgated all the stories, comic books, into one big, thick book, mm-hmm. pretty much. Um, 
And so graphic, I, and I kind of call them graphic novels. And you know, if you want to refer to us, hey, it's okay. At infinite underscore pods, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk to you about it. We'll have a friendly conversation. Exactly. Um, that you instead of buying an issue one, you can buy issue one through let's say twenty. Yeah. That's volume one of a graphic novel yeah. of say, um, say Superman. Actually, Walking Dead. Walking Dead does yeah. it a lot. Actually, they release twenty. Issues in one volume. By the way, if you think the show is dark, don't read the comic. Don't book, read the comic because there's no hope. Like yeah, there's no uh, hope in that comic. Well, they actually toned down the volume, the the violence in that now. So they have that'll be interesting. Because man, whoo, whoo, because it got too much. People were complaining. People hey, getting like man. People power. Am I right? Exactly. Because <laughs> it, it, it was. Whoo, um, whoo, I can't even talk about so some of this stuff. So you get volume <laughs> one, and then you're good for probably depending on how fast you read, maybe two weeks. Yeah. And that's probably fourteen bucks instead of buying paying two ninety nine or three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Um, in volume two, volume three, until you know you have to wait until volume four or whatever. Yeah. Um, and the best bet places you can get them, Amazon. <laughs> wow, Switch. <laughs> Switch got you. Switch came out of nowhere. Oh, this, that scared me. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, like Ooh. Amazon. Even Barnes and Noble has a lot of them too. Actually, they have like an actual fiction. Section in, mm-hmm. in store, nothing but graphic novels. That one section that you kind of avoid in Barnes and Noble, it's actually a pretty good section. It is. It's got almost everything you need. And if you're in the Japanese, they got manga over there That's too. That's on the other side of the aisle. Yeah, I don't go to that side. I don't like personally. that those two aisles are closely like. I'm like yeah. These are two different types of people. Don't yeah. associate them together. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You go to Barnes and Noble, you see the manga people, the anime people, yeah. and then you see the graphic novel people. Graphic novel people, that can have some normal people in there. Usually older, you know. Yeah. It's, kind of it's like our age. Going back a to their bit. youth a little bit. Manga yeah. people, it's kind of like either a 10 year old or a creepy 50 year old. Yeah, it's in a like, Dragon Ball Z button down shirt. Why are you reading that? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, the Dragon Ball Z button down. Oh, I missed it. But I will say that. That's how I got into Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim was, was an awesome series. Um, but it's basically manga. That's true. Yeah, but so, it's really good. Barnes and Noble, Amazon, and then, you know, Digitally, you can go to Comixology, which is yeah. an app now. It's also a website. And then Marvel and DC have their own apps, too. Yeah, Marvel, Marvel has a, it's called Marvel Comics. Uh-huh. And then, DC, it's called DC. It's like, it's, so, it's that simple. Like, it's pretty simple to get <laughs> in a comic book. Yeah. yeah. However, wait, digitally or physically. Um, I like physically having them in my hands. I think Kevin prefers them more digitally. Yeah, it, is, it just works better for me because, you know, I'm clumsy. I'll rip a page. I was that guy that always- I like to frame things and put them in nice places. I framed my Batman vs. Superman um, premiere ticket. Mm-hmm. This is my office. It's <laughs> the only decoration in your office, really. My Transformers and, and um, your, your cape. Le- Lego you got me. Oh, and your cape. Yeah, my, my, my tiny w- one-inch Lego yeah, I got you. He's in my office, him. yeah. <laughs> he got Transformers. He's, he's a guardian. Um so definitely, if you want to, and then I think something would be cool to recommend. Um, I recommend Watchmen is a good comic book. It's in one vol, it's in one book, and that's mm-hmm. all of Watchmen. That's a graphic novel right yeah. there, actually. That's the prime example that start to finish. That's the Watchmen story, yeah. As far as we know, whatever. Um, that one's at Barnes and Noble for sure. That's the first graphic novel I ever read. Okay. It, graphic novel is it's true. It's graphic. Yes, yeah, very. Um, <laughs> Don't give it to your kid. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Keep them in the PG section. My first graphic novel actually was Planet Hulk. That's uh, that's another one I would recommend too. It's really good. Um, <laughs> but I would recommend. I, just, I said this a couple seconds ago. If you like Scott Pilgrim the movie, uh-huh. find, hunt those six books down because it is hilarious. It's an awesome series. Huh. And the movie, it's the movie's really good. But those books, man, will kind of transport you to a different world where it's just like simpler. Where all you really worry about is fighting for your girlfriend's ex boyfriend. <laughs> But that was really good. And like I said, the Civil War series is really, really good. Oh, yeah. That's it's, a long series. It's very long. They're technically in Civil War 2 now. So. Exactly, they are. But um, um, you can you can find it in most places, the whole, the whole, st- the whole oh, story. Oh, actually, in novel for, yeah. Form. yeah. And then another one, which is cool, is I recommend the Star Wars series. Oh, yeah. Um, Star Wars has is now associated have with Marvel and has its own comics now. Yeah. Um, that kind of does, that are kind of canon a little bit. They're in between mm-hmm. most of the movies. Um, there's a Darth Vader one. There's a normal Star Wars one, which is mainly focused on the heroes. I got a Darth Vader one. There's a, I think this is a Boba Fett, Fett one. I They're think making I, a Boba Fett one. I'm not really a big fan of Boba Fett. But, oh, Kevin. They didn't Don't do say it. these things. They just didn't You're do anything. You're tearing up my heart when I'm with you. <laughs> I get <laughs> it. I get it. Um, but yeah, you tons of options. Plus, a Best Buy, or Best Buy, uh, Barnes and & Noble, Am- and well, I guess Amazon Customer Service could help you. Yeah. Or shout us out, you know, and we'll help you pick a comic. Yeah. Wh- live live, live Twitter us in, and we'll help you. Just tell us who you want to look read, I'll tell you what to read. Yeah, I'll be like, pick that book. That's a good book. That exactly. looks pretty. Look at the colors on the front of it. <laughs> but switching topics. <laughs> ah, it yeah. worked. I again. did it again. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, back, I guess technically to Marvel now. Uh, Spider-Man 
Yeah. Uh, we know that Tom Holland is Spider-Man Homecoming, which... That's May, I think. May or April? May, I think that was not in August. Mm. And Guardians is in May. Let's ask Google. Oh, you looked that up. Yeah, let's ask um, Google. That's going to be a real-life action movie, but they're making an, an animated movie that, you know... That's another thing, too. DC, well, it... I think we've talked about that, that it's real-life movies are good, but it's animated movies are on point. Yeah, they are. Marvel, it's kind of the opposite, but they're making a Miles Morales Spider-Man movie. You're already thinking, who the heck is Miles Morales? He's the other Spider-Man. He is the other Spider-Man. <laughs> so Spider in the comics, I guess technically a TV show, Peter Parker either got hurt, died, or gave up the mantle, mm-hmm. and this kid named Miles Morales took it up, and he was the first... Spider-Man, I guess you could say, to, to be... Um, African-American. African-American. I think he was actually half black, half Mexican. Yeah, so I, he's first Latino Hispanic. and first yeah, African, yeah. Hispanic yeah. and African-American Spider-Man. And so back when Andrew Garfield was Spider-Man for an amazing Spider-Man series... Those horrible movies. Um, they, people were campaigning for Miles Morales to be the Spider-Man. Yeah. And they wanted Donald Glover to be Miles Morales. It was like 40. The fun <laughs> thing is, that didn't happen... Um, just because they went with Peter Parker. You gotta go with Peter Parker. You just gotta do that. Now, now in the new Spider-Man movie coming out this year, 2017, yeah. Donald Glover is gonna be in it. Probably not, I don't think Miles Morales. Maybe, who knows. But Miles Morales is getting his new a new animated yep. Spider-Man movie. So it's like, ooh, all this happened probably because of Donald Glover. And Spider-Man Homecoming is out on July 7th. No, there we go. July, yeah. we were both wrong. Yeah, we were both very wrong. We were in the middle, though. Mm-hmm. We were in the middle. <laughs> But yeah, this is going to be a cool series. Miles Morales actually was a really good Spider-Man. And if you watched, um, what was the show called? Spider-Man Web Warriors. I don't know what that is. Ultimate Spider-Man on um, Disney XD. Oh, ah, okay. There's an episode actually where Spider-Man went to like different worlds, and he met Ultimate, he met Miles Morales. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool episode, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because in his world, again, Peter Parker died, so it was mm-hmm. like, you're Peter Parker. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're Spider-Man. This is pretty cool, too. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, real cool. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you, you know... That that's another start. That watch some anime movies. I watched The Killing Joke the other day. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty okay. good. Uh, very very interesting ending. Um, Flashpoint's another one. That's on Netflix, which is Flashpoint good. Flashpoint was so good. Um, anime so things, even though they look kind of childish, they're pretty good. The Dark Knight Returns. If you're looking for, a, oh, I have that. DC um, animated in my movies. It's in my queue. It's a, two parts. Watch. Oh my gosh, that movie was amazing. Well, it, I can't wait. Though. Yeah, that was really good. That was really really good. It's another good one. Uh. I like Justice League War. It's not really too popular, but I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, good. And also, I think a good thing that's going to happen on the horizon, you know, maybe switching topics again <laughs> to another category. Switch. I want you to do a political show now. And every time you switch topics, we'll switch, switch a person to switch a topic topics. Switch topics. Switch topics. Switch people. <laughs> every t- It's like musical chairs, but exactly. you switch, 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 boom, Click. switch. Um, we now know. Well, next week is the return of all our favorite shows. Yes. Flash, <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow is on Tuesday. <laughs> Supergirl on Monday. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's this Monday or next Monday. And then Arrow on Wednesdays. Thursdays is Riverdale. Yeah. That's okay. It's we'll fine. Get, we'll, I'm not watching we'll it, but it's cool. We'll find out. I yeah. don't know. No and, uh, so they're all back next week. And they just announced for The Flash that two people are coming back that we've been Wondering the whole time this whole season's been going on. Yeah. By the name, well, technically since one of them since season one. Yeah, he was in season well both of them were season one, weren't they? I think they're both in season one. Oh yeah. They're both in season oh, one. Oh yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. I did not Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh Ronnie, aka Robbie Amell, yep, and Eddie Thon are coming back to the flash. Yeah, man. It's a party, it's a party. Do you think it's going to be main, like the main storyline, or is it going to be like on another Earth, another, another timeline, or? It's going to be, uh, what do you mean main storyline? Like, like is it going to be a thing where Flash goes like to Earth 6, or uh-huh. something like that? Or is it going to be like, are they going to be in Legends, and the Flash is an episode of Legends, and they like in another? Ooh, I would take that, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but they're supposed to come back some way, you know, as we know, Robbie Amell, his character Ronnie, yeah. was the original Firestorm. And then got sucked up away in some time vortex, and Professor Stein got thrown out. Thrown out. Yeah. Um, and then Eddie died season one. He killed himself. Killed himself to, you know, help the Flash out. Yeah. And hasn't been back. I'm hopeful. I'm excited. Yeah. I, ooh, drama. Because now Flash and, Flash and Iris are together now. He's the jealous one, no. and then he becomes 
reverse zoom or reverse flash or something oh. along them lines. But he's Savitar. He's not Savitar. I, know, I don't know who Savitar is actually. <laughs> who are you? Savitar. You think everyone's Savitar. You're what, like, ooh, what Savitar? What if Barry Savitar? You want a what? What if Barry is Savitar? <laughs> what, that that Earth's Barry? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah? I'm really excited about the Flash being back, though, because, like, it's just, it makes the Tuesday go by it's so much been better. It's too long since we've talked about those shows. T- not, not even that Tuesday suck. Tuesday's the second Monday. It makes mm-hmm. it give something to look forward to on a Tuesday is the Flash, mm-hmm. you know? Well, no more. This is us. That 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 was my. my show. I still haven't watched that show. That's a pretty actually. good show. Also, series of unfortunate events is really good. It is. Uh, it's on Netflix. And Neil pa- if you like Neil Patrick Harris, ooh, real good. My wife was watching it the other day, but I wasn't paying attention. I was just oh, Kevin, playing with the little girl. You gotta pay attention. Yeah, I was playing with her, just teaching her about you know, nerdy things. Nerdy things. Nerdy things. Yes, yeah, like this podcast. <laughs> I should play it before I get home. What? This podcast usually likes things of it. She like, yes. makes these faces sometimes. And you know it's so funny. We also have to do a little shout out before uh, we peace out. Oh, yeah. Um, we finally have to admit that we haven't appreciated one man who's helped pave the way for this podcast. And His name comes along. is at Mr. Eric V. AKA Eric V from the Kane Show, who's helped us so much. And we almost got him on this podcast, which would have been sick. But you have been shouted out, and you are now on the list. You're on the Crisis Crew, buddy. The Crisis Crew. You made it in. That list is taking forever to make, even though you think it would just be a piece of paper, but it'll be done soon. We're taking over the world, honey. It takes time. Uh, we're taking over this room, for sure. Yeah. This is our room. It's our room now. It's our room. It's ours. We put, put, put a lock on the door. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I don't know how that lock would work, but we figure it out. Yeah. But maybe it's we'll... kind of a push-pull door, so we're not sure how that works, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> not sure how it's going to work, Kevin. We just put something there. If you know. believe it'll work. Let's put a refrigerator there. Ooh, we need a mini fridge in the studio. I don't do. Know. <laughs> but uh, we're, Kevin and I are excited because in two months uh, we're going to, hopefully pa- going to Walker Stalker Con and uh, Pax East, Heroes right? and Villains Fest March 26th through March, the end of March. And then we're going to PAX East yeah. in Boston on uh, March 10th through the 12th, I believe, that weekend. And uh, get our hands on Nintendo Switch, even though we'll already have the Nintendo Switch, because I'll bring it with us. Oh, we get to play on the plane, Kevin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, I'm so excited to play the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> also, this is for the other one I didn't mention. There we go. <laughs> um, but my name's Hoodie. You can follow me at Andrew Hoodie. I'm Kevin. You can follow me at Motec. That's M0T3KK. And for all the shenanigans and all the interesting things to know, follow at Infinite underscore Pods, and we post blogs, pictures, interact with you, polls, anything you imagine. And memes. And uh, we look forward to just hanging out with you next week, talking to you even more. And you know what? Um, if you're on iTunes, um, you know, iTunes listeners, or the iHeartRadio app, Thank you. Give it a thumbs up. You no, know we can do actually next week too. We what? actually review the whole week of DC. Oh, we can't. Oh, we get to talk about DC shows next week. Yeah, because no more Thursdays. That's true. Oh, oh, the whole lineup. Oh, that's gonna be fun. The game has changed. The game has changed. <laughs> Maybe we can do the podcast. Yeah, we'll do it on Thursdays. We'll do it on Thursdays. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, everything you need to know at Infinite Underscore Pods, and uh, you know what? Like us on High Heart Radio because. We see it, and it's cool if you like it. And we like, like you. So you and and if you don't like it, that's okay, too. But if you're on iTunes, listen to us on iTunes. Make sure you um, you know, subscribe, rate rate us. Give us a review, because we really want to know your opinions. Let us know this week what you want changed, what you want improved, because we want to serve you better. Exactly. This is a public service. You know, I snapped when I should have just done that. <laughs> that's okay. But uh, <laughs> have an awesome week. We'll, we'll talk to you next week. You just listened to... Technically, I guess the most luckiest episode, thirteenth episode. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Crisis, Crisis on Infinite Podcasts. Podcasts.